Hello, members of YouTube and customers of Lucifer Cryptor. Uh, I'm going to be show you, be showing you how to properly crypt your malware with Lucifer Cryptor. Let's go ahead and get the client opened up right now. Frame is the owner of Lucifer Cryptor, and uh, he asked me to do this, so I'm doing it for you guys. Uh, you go ahead and agree to terms and conditions. Select where you want to save the compiled file. You can also uh, select UV exe, scr, cmd. No, it's uh, it's going to be a com, bat, and the pif. I'm going to do an executable. Select the icon we want to use. Go ahead and choose Wally. Go get my uh, malware ready. All right, for this part, uh, this is Cybergate. Um, I'll be making more tutorials for the other rats, but uh, you want to choose these settings. Just uncheck melt file. Persistent can sometimes fuck up shit. Uh, let's do Windows Defender. Let's do exactly what I'm doing. Alright, uh, no error message since Lucifer Cryptor already has a built in fake error message option in there. Active keylogger if you like to keylog people to get their keystrokes while you have them infected. Uh, uncheck this as Lucifer Cryptor also has a lot of anti debug uh, shits inside the client as an option. You want to uncheck icon. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, go back to it's for Cryptor client, multi cryptic. You want to browse and find the malware you want to crypt and bind if you have more than one file. You can also uh, add any file, so it doesn't matter what file it is, it doesn't have to be executable. Assembly editor. Downloader, you can do whatever you want. Uh, anything? select whatever you, these native and managed are the best and most compatible AES is the best encryption encryption Let's keep the uh, junk code generation default now you can select these if you want to uh, yeah uh, rack compatible mode checked compression if you want to protect output uh, also do that Clear the padding, like the random junk code that's already into the malware, uh, and delay execution will actually delay it for a few seconds. Don't check this unless you uncheck this inside the malware. If you were compiling your malware and you didn't have this selected, let's go ahead and show an example of what I'm referring to. If you uncheck this. This is where you would do that. You would do Windows Defender. Alright, uh, you do application data. Because that's the most, uh, most secret spot. So, uh, I'm just going ahead and go back to home compile the file cryptic successfully 
and there you go thanks for watching please thumbs up and comment if you like uh subscribe if you want to all right thanks for purchasing lucifer crypto bye